The Nissan Maxima is a sporty sedan that performs like a near-luxury sedan, but is priced like a full-size one. Buick Lucerne, Ford Taurus, Toyota Avalon, and Lexus ES350 are some of its key competitors. The Maxima is a solid sedan with aggressive styling and respectable performance. The CVT transmission offers cutting-edge technology for drivers, and everything about the Maxima is geared towards a sporty driving experience. Nissan offers the Maxima in two trims, the Base SE and Higher End SL. Pricing starts at $28,000 for a Base SE and tops out at $35,000 for a nicely equipped SL with leather and navigation. The Maxima is powered by the VQ engine, which consists of a 3.5 liter dual overhead cam 24 valve V6 with 255 horsepower. The Altima 3.5 has 270 horsepower. How did that happen? The Maxima introduced the phrase four-door sports sedan in the 80s, and it continues to live up to that label. The Maxima is sporty and relatively fun to drive, but I cannot justify this car when the Altima offers so many of these same features and the same engine, but with 15 more horsepower. Quite simply, there is not enough product differentiation between the Maxima and its sibling, the Nissan Altima. When Nissan gave the Maxima a CVT transmission, it definitely took away from its personality. The Maxima used to be a fun vehicle to drive, but now it's become Nissan's version of the Avalon, and quite frankly, the Altima offers more driving excitement. And if you really want sporty, Nissan's luxury brand Infiniti has the G35, which is a little smaller, but is a far superior performer. Bottom line is that if you like the Maxima, my recommendation is to downgrade a bit to the Altima or upgrade a bit to the Infiniti G35. The Maxima just doesn't offer enough benefits or distinguishing characteristics, which is a shame because once upon a time, the Maxima really stood out.